<laughs> what are you going to say about this dish? <laughs> You have five minutes to go. Come on, guys, unleash the crocker bush within so you can get that spot in the final of Celebrity Master Chef. Good luck, guys. So I decide to unmold my crocker bush. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Plops out under my hand and it's solid. I can't believe I've accomplished this. There's a, a little bit of a chocolate swirl going. I couldn't have been more happy. I'm just about to turn out my crocker bush onto my nut base. I'm feeling unsure because I don't want it to fall apart. The moment I turn out my crocker bush, <laughs> I am so happy. It's perfect. It's nice and high and it's holding its structure. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I turn out this thing onto the base. You flip it into your, into your hand. I, like that. And then just be careful, don't burn your hand. Oh, just, just let it fall into it, actually. That's it, that's it. Just bring it out sideways. <laughs> that's it, just wedge it down. Again! Jeez. And the mountain of doom is upon us. I got four burns on my fingers. I ended up with bandages all over my fingers. It was painful at first, but at this point, I just want to get this thing over with. So put your hand in. So Gary comes over and says, "Come on, let's let's pull you know your crock and bush out of the cone and stick it on the base." No, yeah. Get it really close. I turn it over. Just dip it out. Yeah, this is make or break it. Come on, little crocky. It's not bad, it's just leaning slightly. There's a bit of a gap in one of the bottom corners. Sit there, boy. Don't you fall oh, over. No, 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 no. no. I grab a few more profiteroles. Luckily, I'd save some and dip them in the toffee and kind of prop it up. I need to do. Can I? And yeah, it's standing pretty level. My cracker bush was a bomb, uh, and I decided to do the, the caramel swirl. Two forks, back to back. Yep. I can't do it with my fingers. <laughs> I'm having a few issues with the forks and my bandages at this point. Um, and you swirl it around your cracker bush. I like it. That's it, man. Look kind of more like a spider web, but it was a caramel swirl nonetheless. My butterfly is set, and it's time to put it on top of the crock and bush. It's pretty nerve-wracking putting the butterfly on top because it's pretty thick. Last minute, the butterfly's on top, standing by itself. I step back. I'm ecstatic. Put the butterfly on top of my crock and bush. Thinking, hey, this is getting more and more character here. I might win this. No worries, mate. You got 30 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Put it on the plate. My ice malt mixture is just not coming together, so I abandon that and I try to spin a bit of toffee around my crock and bush. <laughs> no butterfly. No butterfly. You got 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds, just pick it up, stick it on the top. Step away from your benches. Well done, guys. Woo! Yeah. Woo! This has been a massive, massive challenge. Now all that's left is to present our dishes to the judges, let them taste it, and see who goes through to the final. Finished my masterpiece! I'm very proud walking in with my cock and bush. Oh my god, I do not want to drop this. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> Rachel, you walked in beaming the broadest smile. I'm very, very, very happy with what I've done. This was by far the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. That is fantastic. It looks impeccable, perfect. It glistens and gleams with that even coating of caramel on every profiterole. You've got the base, the butterfly, the swirl of chocolate profiteroles. It is astounding and amazing. What? Wrap a sash around it, it would win Miss Universe. Um, let's hope the flavour's in there as well. What I had were two perfectly plump profiteroles, two beautiful, smooth, silky, creamy creme patissiers, and this lovely, slightly bitter, crunchy caramel. Absolutely delicious. Thanks. A fantastic job. Well done, Rachel. Thanks, George. I'm struggling to find anything wrong with it, and that's, that's rare. Rachel, what will you do next? You continue to surprise and amaze us. Thanks. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you. Brilliant job. I'm proud of myself. I made something that stood on a plate and looked beautiful. My turn. I'm pretty confident, but there's still the taste test. My butterfly flew away. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, I think you've done a spectacular job. I think from seeing the profiteroles come out of the oven, I, I really thought you weren't going to make it in time, and look at it. Wow, I'm very impressed, very impressed. I love the sponge sugar work. I love the little French beret on the top. Amazing. Off with his head. Kirk, I love both of the pastry creams. One's really strong with vanilla, the other one's strong and tastes of chocolate. They're both smooth and silky. For me, I reckon you could take the caramel a little bit further. It needs probably a little bit more bitterness in it. Some of the profiteroles have too much toffee because you, and you're trying to get through it, but it's definitely edible. What was the decision not to do a butterfly based on? I ran out of time, so I just abandoned it and kind of swirled little bits of toffee around it. And did the best I could in the time. I love the creme pat in the, that custard inside the profiteroles. I like the construction. The one thing that's let you down is the actual plumpness of those profiteroles. Mm. Kirk, thank you very much indeed. You may leave the tasting room. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kirk. Well done. I actually thought it was going to be more criticism than compliment. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I walk in with my dish to see the judges. <laughs> what are you going to say about this dish? <laughs> look, we have a saying here. It can look amazing, but it doesn't taste good not going to get you through. Similarly, it can look like a slight disaster. If those profiteroles are crisp on the outside, slightly elastic, then you could win. You served us a crushed dessert, but both the pastry creams are excellent. They're smooth and silky, they taste of what they should. And you know what, the profiteroles actually aren't that bad. If you're blindfolded, it tastes exactly the same as the other three contestants. It tastes good, because you followed the recipe, and that you did well, except for when it came to making the profiteroles and assembling it. A flaw, but 
Still edible. Well done, Alex. Cheers, mate. No, Alex, you don't judge a man by how he handles success, by how he handles those days when everything goes right. You judge a man by how he handles those terrible days. You've come out the other side laughing. You've come out the other side having enjoyed what was obviously a pretty unpleasant experience. And that reflects well on you as a man and also on a contestant. Alex, I think your boys and your wife would be proud of you bashing away today, not giving up, you kept pushing through, and you put up a crock and bush in front of us. Thank you. See you guys. Welcome. Thanks. All the flavours and the taste were there, which I'm really proud of, you know. I mean, that, that's an achievement in itself. <laughs>